Yes, uh, today has been very amazing. We had uh, 15 of our brothers and sisters from diaspora listening with us, and then uh, we did what we call right of passage. So, uh, we gave them their names, their African names. It's very important to know that there are a lot of things that we cannot do as individuals, as in uh, trying to seek solution and reparations, trying to seek justice and fighting the system. These are very important things to do to take on big uh, systems like that. But at least, I always say, you can change your name to have your own African name. It makes no sense. So if you go around and go around doing business in the 21st century, and then you being aware that the name that they call you was given to you by the last slave master who owned your ancestors. To me, that is unacceptable. So whenever we have a chance to at least achieve in Africa, the very minimum we can do. This will encourage their brothers and sisters to come and have their own names. It doesn't cost me anything to name my brother or to help my brother understand the need for more myself to have African name. So at least there are small things we can do in this fight that I uh, cannot wait to be done. So this is exactly what we did here today. We gave our brothers and sisters local African names. And, uh, Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. My name is Eko Simpson. I'm a Ghanaian um, and I live in Ghana. Well, you are watching this channel because somebody introduced you to it. It was recommended or suggested to you on YouTube. Basically, my YouTube channel is to connect Africans and the motherland to Africans in the diaspora. So, Thank you for checking me out. If this is your first time of watching my videos, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel.
Bronx, New York. Um, thank you so much for welcoming us home. Um, it's an honor to be here and to meet all of you. Uh, I am overwhelmed by the reception that I have received here from all of you and paying homage to my ancestors. Um, it's just a privilege and an honor. Thank you. Uh, my name is Alex Muhammad. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. And thank you for having us. My name is Brandon Sturdivant. I'm from Oakland, California. Thanks for having me. Good afternoon. My name is Will Woodery. I'm from New York and uh, very grateful to be here. Thank you. My name is Tanya Watkins and I'm with Southsiders Organized for Unity and Liberation, also known as Soul in Chicago. I bring you greetings and so very honored to be here. Just feeling grateful uh, to be back again. Just to introduce our group, we're, we're a collective of folks from the U.S. Um, here, here to, to reclaim our history, right? To reclaim <coughs> ourselves personally, but also um, to do some healing work. Uh, and as part of our, as part of our healing, we're, we're here to heal so we can heal others when we get back home. The collective is a group of prison abolitionists. So I know y'all probably know about it, but in the U.S., they lock black folks up. They throw away the key. They supervise them when they're released. Um, they make sure our folks don't get ahead. And we have people with our group who have been deeply impacted by the system, either in cages or have family members who've been also. So the root of why we're here is to make sure we continue to free ourselves and reclaim ourselves so we can do the same thing when we return. Sing a song. seven days, you assume that the spirit was only looking and not intending to stay. So let's imagine this is your eighth day of life. This may be your second day on this trip, but we'll assume it's your eighth day. So on the eighth day, it's assumed that the spirit is planning to stay and work. So it has to have a name. So the, the eighth day represents the same day of the week upon which you actually arrive a week earlier, you follow me. So this is the day name that God gave you. You came with this name on the day you arrived. So the, the process involves an examination. Two quick test questions. Both of the questions are, is this water? So the infant is given two things. Yourselves as infants on your eighth day will be given two things question is, is this water? <clears throat> if it's water, you say yes. If it isn't, you say no. The whole purpose of naming is to, to announce to those around you what you're about, but also give you the opportunity to grow into what you're about. And the slogan, the mantra, the proverb we often say is, if it's water, say it's water. Meaning, don't exaggerate. Don't take credit for something that you don't deserve. Don't blame something on someone else that didn't do it. Tell it like it is. Honesty is the best house. That's what the naming is about. The year you listen to you there. The year you listen to Mineral water or water, water, 
And this one is a jeep. You are very lucky. It's not hot. Like a petitia. Not a It's very mild. The essence and importance that we want to draw is as a human being, as an African, whatever you say must be the truth and nothing but the truth. So when you sip the water, we'll give you the gin. So when you say this is water, it is water. When you sip the gin, it is gin. You must be honest in your life from now onwards. Very, very honest. It's very crucial. It's very important. Yes. So, uh, we will mention your name. When you hear your name, come. Pedro Alfredo Dura. Aha. Bra, 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 bra. Now, a quarter of That's it, the sun, the sun. Stephen. Wow. Oh yes. Yeah. Coincidence? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, you are a warrior. Yeah, 